So let's kick things off with today's dish. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This you must determine. Just in time to get Baby Yoda toys on every kid's holiday wish list, The Mandalorian is back for season two on Disney+. Plus. You expect me to search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers? This is the way. This time, Mando is trying to reunite the child with its family, which puts him on a collision course with the Jedi. Creator Jon Favreau even teasing the return of a favorite from the original Star Wars films known as the Gamorrean. Look for new episodes Fridays on Disney+. Plus. To be the Mandalorian, you have to do what you gotta do. Chilean-born actor Pedro Pascal plays the Mandalorian, but he's one of only a handful of Latin leading men on screen. Little details that tell the world we are not invisible. Ignore anyone who doubts you. Now in the Heights and Hamilton creator Lin-Manuel Miranda and other Latinx writers are demanding change in Hollywood when it comes to Latino representation. In an open letter to mark the end of Hispanic Heritage Month, they wrote, by refusing to tell our stories and by refusing to put us in charge of telling them, Hollywood power brokers are complicit in our exclusion. Switching the positions for you, and it's the moment Arianators have been waiting for. Ariana Grande dropping a brand new album. This singer releasing the first single, Positions, earlier this month and immediately racking up millions of streams and views. This is her first full album since Thank You Next dropped in 2019. And that's today's dish.